<laughs> Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to make this Chinese bevel gauge. Now this is tool number six of seven that I wanted to show you how to make. And I got the idea for this particular bevel gauge from a Chinese master. The Chinese master made his bevel gauge from pieces of wood. And I started making one from pieces of wood as well. But I realized that oftentimes I like to use a marking knife. And that means I have to replace the blade with a piece of steel. And what I really like about this Chinese design is this little piece right here. What it does is it gives me an extra place to hold and to push. And it feels very steady when I'm using it. And you can just hold it right here and it feels pretty steady. So let's get started and make one of these. I started by squaring off two perpendicular faces of a piece of ebony and I used a table saw to square up the third side. The fourth side ended up being square without me having to do anything. All three pieces are precisely the same width so I'm using a flat surface to help me align them. I then found the center line of the piece by marking from both sides. The Chinese master made a point to state that the fence needs to be nice and thick so that it can engage the workpiece even if the workpiece is missing part of its corner. I used a M42 cobalt drill bit to get through this 1095 high carbon spring steel. And 600 RPM was the lowest setting I could go on my drill press. I then assembled the whole thing to check and make sure that it is actually square. I then marked and cut out about a 1 16th of an inch recess for each one of the bolt heads. I had to put extra threads onto the bolt because it didn't span the whole thickness of the bevel gauge. I made the lever tightening mechanism from a piece of 1 8 inch thick brass. A quick test fit shows that the lever mechanism works pretty well. So I did most of the rough work on the grinding wheel. I also bent the lever slightly so that my finger can get to it a little easier. As I was trimming the bolts down, I was reaffirmed as to why I always wear safety glasses. I set the bevel gauge to about 20 degrees. And I found that the cutting wheel is the most effective tool I could use to cut this uh, carbon steel. And with each successive cut, the quality of the cut also got better, but clearly not good enough. So I used a grinding stone to clean up the edge a bit, and then the final cleaning is done on my diamond stone. The next thing to do is to round over the corners so that the marking implement can pass along the blade without the body getting in the way. What's left now is all about how the bevel gauge feels. And that means smoothing out the brass. And I'm also hammering the lever that I'm going to be using the most so that it is a little bit thicker at the end. And on the other side, I've removed most of the bolt that sticks above the recess. Well, that's about a wrap for this project. Thanks for stopping by and hope to see you again next time.